left him. Uh, there's no band up there. Sure, they know he's crazy. He's crazy. He's a weirdo. He's on the dope. Yeah. He's on it now. Oh, yeah. See him. He's right on it now. It's cloud seven. Mm. How can you tell when they're on it? You can tell. You can just tell when they're on it. They act sneaky. And uh, they have the strength of an insane man. Yeah, don't go near them. And then they'll twist your head off and everything. He doesn't know what he's doing. He'll, he'll, go, he'll probably stay up for two days now on the stuff. That's, what they, that's why they're probably doing it. Now it's maybe 30 minutes there, and I'm just... I'm just thumping all over, stepping on my dick. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, I finally get off, and the owner goes, Lenny, Christ, we had so many walkouts. I'm hit, man. They were walking, they were stepping on my feet after I... They got like a herd. Wait. He said, well, Jesus, I never saw you do that religious bit and this and those words you used. I said, wow, what do you so many work, man? I don't do the same bit every show, just oh, the same way. Well, we got, we'll do something, okay, now. It's walkouts, walkouts every night, walkouts. The chef is confused. The desserts aren't moving. You know. <laughs> now, it's Saturday night. I'm doing these kind of bits. Okay, folks, Bob White. <laughs> now, I also dig. The esoteric quality humor is further championed by a you know, age barrier of about, oh, I just, I've just got little old grandmothers with crochet gloves sitting there, eating custard, spitting it back, <laughs> with rouge, as I, and a whole family, it's like a, the Tad Moselle thing, a death in the family, so they're old, <laughs> Maria Spensky, I'm waiting at it. Okay, now I go to the men's room, and I see kids in the men's room. The kid's four years old, six years old. Now I see some poetry. It's really beautiful. I see these kids in the boys' room, right? They're looking. And these kids are in awe of this men's room. This is the first time they've ever been in a place their mother isn't allowed in. They can't figure it out. Your mother's not allowed in here? Not even for a minute. Not even to get something she's not allowed in here. And they stay in there for hours. Ruining him. Come out of there. No. I'm going to come and get you. No, you know, you're not allowed in here because everybody's doing making wet in here. Okay. <laughs> now, in between shows, I'm a walker in here, nothing good and nudgy and nervous. Now, the owner decides to introduce me to cushion it because he got that. Ladies and gentlemen, before being the star of our show, Lenny Bruce, who instantly is next GI, and, uh,. <laughs> Hell of a performer, folks, and a great kidder. You know what I mean? It's all a bunch of silliness up here. They don't mean that. He kids about the Pope and uh, the Jewish religion, too, and the colored people and the white people. It's all silly, make-believe world. And uh, he uh, is a hell of a guy. He's at the Veterans Hospital now. <laughs> doing a show for the boys, and he's... Uh, here he is. His mom's out here tonight, too. I uh, haven't seen him in a couple of years. She lives here in town. Here he is. Uh, he, gets, he, uh, he gets walkouts, man. He gets 50 walkouts, man. Just, uh, we're dropping like flies tonight. Man. We just blew the whole balcony. It's really it's unusual. Fain, uh, something is different tonight. It's, uh, I mean, well, I'm just losing perspective, that's all. I really lost perspective, can I keep? I'll have about, in another year, I'll have about 15 real hardcore following that'll... Steady. You know, they'll feel compulsed to support me to fly all over the day. I no, made a few moves. He flies in once. So they get the SOSs, you know. He's falling by just three people out there. Just That's all three. That constitutes a show. As long as I can get booked for obscenity. <laughs> yeah, you have to, it's over two people if it's an obscene show. Okay, now they've got a, a the other clubs in the neighborhood are a Sacconi gas station and a laundromat that didn't make it. Now, I hang out at the gas station in between shows and get gravel in my shoes. Uh, and the conversation is really inspiring. Uh, let me see the grease rack up again. Let's see. Uh, can I work the grease rack? No, I'll break it. Can I tie you a leather bow tie on? No. Mary? No. You bully your old lady, all right? Hey. I'd like to do a flick where we have a good psychotic rapist who has been in a nut house. Have Jonathan Winters do it. 
He's in the loony band of Val, let's see. Six months, he's planning to get out. He's being very good, see, he's got the therapy. Now we cut to a lady nut house, and we have these nymphomaniacs. And they both get out at the same time. They make their break, and they meet each other, which is very frustrating to Jonathan, you know. I'm going to rape you. Of course you want to lay him in the bushes. No, no, he just makes the same kind of chicks. You don't love me, you just want to bore me. That's the usual cry. Uh, how about doing it? Uh, how do you feel about that, you people? Is that about the dirtiest thing we could do to each other? Uh, priests uh, don't do it. Nuns don't do it. Paramahansa Yogananda doesn't do it. Uh, rabbis are close to celibacy. It's really not very nice, is it, doing it? I don't think you'd like me to do it to your mother or your sister. I don't think you look me. I think I'm a bit rude. I'm offensive. He's a bore. He's a lewd bore. They would even talk about that. There's a time and place for killing. I got custody of my kids. My wife's a tramp. What do you mean she's a tramp? Did she go in the woods and roast Mickey's? No, she sleeps with guys. Oh, that filthy thing. She does it in front of the kids. How about that? Would any of you ladies do it in front of your kid? <laughs> Paul Malloy would never do it in front of his kids. He might slap the shit out of his old lady, keep her knocked up, keep her in the kitchen, never bring her a flower, but if I say bullshit in front of will punch me in the mouth. Here's why you don't do it in front of the kids, the registered voters here. The argument is that overemphasis, sex and violence on television will be a deterrent to your child. Why? Because what he sees later on he will do. He will ape the actions of the actor. If this argument has any logic to it, would you rather your kid see a stag movie over King of Kings? I would. I wouldn't mind my kid to kill Christ when he comes back. That's just in that flick, King of Kings, Christ killing. I don't think that uh, I saw one stag movie where anyone got killed at the end, did you? Slapped in the mouth? Punched in the mouth? Uh... The, uh, no, I mean, I'm listening. Uh, they were very, uh, nice people. Uh, could have uh, been very uh, ugly about it. They could have been, uh, no, they were cool, gentle. Didn't like it. No, it's bad. Yeah. Of course, they, uh, maybe if I know that, that I'm a bit monstrous, if there is any <laughs> talk on the way out, so they, so the play, they couldn't cross themselves and just, you know, just let's get to the door, just to the door, and they won't say anything. And, uh, and usually I do like this. Well, I'm going to do down and cutting the stage. Now, now uh, before all of you escape, um, let me explain something to you. You see, you defeat your purpose. It's God, your filthy Jesus Christ made these tits. That's all. Now, you've got to make up your mind. You've got to stand up for Jesus and you've got to say, look, I admit that doing it is filthy. I will stop doing it. And believe me, if you just set the rules, I will obey them. But Jesus Christ, stop living the paradox. Tell me that it's filthy, that fags are the best people. I will live up to the misogynist. I will be the woman hater. I will be the nice guy that takes your daughter out. He's a nice guy. He didn't try to fool around with me. He's a nice faggot. I realize that my mother's body is dirty. I realize that I'm a second-rate power. I realize that you have sold out my country. Do you know why they hate Americans anywhere, everywhere? I think I did a little more traveling than anyone in this audience. I think I've been in more invasions than anyone in this audience. I made six. I made some real daddies. I was on a cruise called the USS Brooklyn. I was a second class gun's mate. I was making from 42 to 45 July. That's in Germany fell in July. Doing it sturdy. They hate Americans everywhere. You know why? Because we fucked all of the mothers for chocolate bars. And don't you forget that, Jim. You don't think those kids have heard that since 1942? You know what those Americans did to your poor mother? They lined her up, those bastards. Your poor father had to throw his guts up in the kitchen while he waited out there. That master sergeant stuck your mother for their stinking coffee and their eggs and their friggin' cigarettes, those Americans. I said, Jim, that's all they've heard, those kids. Those kids now are 23, 25 years old. The Americans, there's the guy that did it to my mother. Would you assume this is sizable correct? You say, there's the fellow who fucked my mother. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that and giving us candy. <laughs> now, the people that left are a little older than me. The people that left also left 
Africa out of the picture with Ross Barnett with Walker Africa's gone they left all of the Mediterranean countries by doing it to the mothers they left South America with Nixon the correct people have put us in the shithouse the correct people have made the second-rate power and they've done this they have taught you to cast the first stone that's why all those cats are sitting in the joint in prison <laughs> Lenny Bruce ladies and gentlemen Lenny Bruce Gate of Horn Tuesday December 4th let the buyer beware You know what this is? This is one day service at the Maryland. <laughs> hey, uh, Des, is that cleaning? Uh, uh, oh, you're putting me on, man. I got a, I got a show to do tonight. Man. All right, get the bell captain. All right, the bell captain's running the elevator and his toilet stuffed up. And he's running. Hey man, are you kidding? I got I, I haven't got anything to wear, man. I've got anything, this is what I got. All right, well we got a raincoat. Oh, thank you. That's it. That's what came back. A raincoat, pajama top. I don't I don't have any sh underwear on. <laughs> and I've got stockings. And they don't match. Well, that's one thing they do for the laundries. They got I got 14 pairs, one sock. And uh is he ready? Okay. King Kong, um, we booked him uh, for the second shows here since he's doing the one-nighters now. And the last time he got a little shitty with everybody, but it was due to the photographers. If you just take it easy with the flash bulbs, it's the only thing he doesn't like. Uh, he'll, he'll do a good show feel like he always does. He'll, uh, he's almost ready there. Uh, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Well, I don't care if he is an animal, still, uh... Well, uh, King isn't ready yet, uh... He is ready if the band knows what I mean. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, how about if we, uh... Get some water, put some water on or something. Well, uh, get it off from anyway, I don't know. Now, listen, is there a building around here? Uh, that's what King likes, uh... Let's give him a building and a plane to squeeze. And uh, who was the guy that, uh, let's see, who was the, uh, in, what was the name, the star in King Kong? The, what was the chap's name? No, that's favorite. The guy, uh, he played, who, no, no. That's a good one. Uh-huh. That's Dale Evans. My friend of mine, Dale Stevens, the writer. He's in Cincinnati. And, uh, Anybody from Cincinnati here? Uh, you know Dale, Cincinnati Evening Star? And it's a theatrical column. Uh, the most, the prettiest chicks in the world live there. Prettiest composite ever. Dig, you know what a beautiful duo is? German and Irish. They are winner chicks. That is the most goyish, goyish. <laughs> I'll show you an example. Oh, I gave her away. <laughs> oh, dig, I got carried away the first show, and I said, here, I love you so much, I give Kat that picture. Hey, take my, the one from the bartender back. He, I'm hip, I was going to say that, but she's not really the one I love. But uh, we ripped her head off. Now, a weird thing happened. I've been talking... Oh, I can I tell you. I, always, I assume that you know me and we're together every night. Uh, what happened was... This is Ice-T. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And... Matty 